Hi guys, in this lesson today we're learning how to play Purple Rain by Prince, who of course passed away last week. Um, there have been many tributes to Prince um, since his passing, so I feel now is the time to focus on the music and we're going to be learning this song uh, because it's a fantastic song. We just have four chords in this song and to keep it in the key of the original we're going to need a capo on third fret. So I'll demo the chords with the capo on third fret so we can hear what it would sound like but I'll be doing the remainder of the lesson without a capo in case you don't have them. So we have a G major chord and it doesn't really matter how you play it with three fingers or four but I'm gonna go for this way of playing it which I feel should be everyone's default way of playing a G that's certainly following my channel because of the songs that we kind of cover on this channel really. The next chord is an E minor and we can add an E minor 7 which is in my particular chord sheet that's on the website by clicking the link in the top corner. The E minor 7 is by keeping that third finger down uh, which is great because if we play this four fingered way of playing a G we keep the third finger down when we move to this E minor and also then the third chord in the song which is a D major. So for those first three chords the third finger stays down and the only time it lifts off is to play the final chord which is a C major. So with the capo on third fret we can play along to the original in the original key and it's fairly straightforward so most people following my channel should be able to have a go at this. One more time so in order of the verse we have G for one bar E minor 7 will keep that third finger down. D major also for a bar. Third finger stayed down for that change as well. And then all fingers lift off for the C chord there. We'll be having a play along at the end of this song. Uh, so I'll be kind of singing it and you guys can play along to me and then I'd like you to have a go along to the original. Uh, the strumming pattern, the simplest thing you can do with any song is just play on the beat. So that would be just four strums to the tempo of the song, which is kind of like this. So just a little bit faster than a ticking clock really. And that would be... I never meant to cause you any sorrow One, two never meant to cause you any pain and you can hear there that there wasn't a pause for any of the changes and that's what we would be aiming for with this we'll have a play along in a second but for the more advanced people among you who want to be going for a bit more of an advanced strumming pattern and that strumming pattern is down 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 up up down down up down up And if I demo it in context, nice and slow. Okie dokie. So, as promised, we'll do the rest of this lesson without the capo, but that's how it would sound in, in tune with the record. So now without the capo, for you guys that don't have one yet, I recommend you get one. Um, this is our G, E minor, D and C and we're gonna want to try and get this strumming pattern that we're going for now but we can also play along just to the beat okay. So this strumming pattern is down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. Uh, in my lessons it's the same strumming pattern as used in Get Lucky uh, by Daft Punk and therefore I nickname it Daft Punk Strumming. Down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. Down, 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 up, up, down, down, up. So that chord sequence that we've just learnt happens twice for the verse but instead of ending on the C we end on the G. So the verse in its entirety if I just play on the beat would be 2, 3, 4 G, 2, 3, 4 
E minor, 2, 3, 4, D, 2, never meant to cause you any pain, 2, 3, 4, back to G, I only wanted to one time see you, E minor 7, and then to a D, I only want to see you laughing in the purple rain. So we don't go back to G until the word rain, and you stay on the D chord before that. Only want to see you laughing in the purple rain. And then mute straight away. Really short part there, okay? Uh, in the chorus, the C chord lasts for two bars, and then we have a G major just for the one bar, and the E minor just for one bar. But again, the chord sheet is available uh, and printable from my website as well, so that's really handy to, to kind of follow, which is what I'm following here. From the C chord in the chorus, let's just have a quick run through first. Purple rain, purple rain. Two, three, four for the second bar. Purple rain to a G. E minor seven. Purple rain, purple rain. We stay on that D chord. I only want to see you bathing in the purple rain. End of the chorus is very similar, or pretty much the same from the uh, end of the verse. So that should be everything. Let me just demo the chorus with that extra strumming pattern. So this down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. Other strumming patterns worth. That's not the only one that's correct, but this is the one that I kind of recommend for most people following my channel. For the chorus. Purple rain, purple rain. And again. Down to a G, straight to E minor. Purple rain, purple rain. Down, 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 up, up, down. I only want to see you bathing in the purple rain. So it ends part way through the strumming pattern there, and you just have to stay on the downs to towards the end and then finish on a down strum on the G. So that's the verse section and then the chorus, and that just repeats throughout the entire song. Again, for the structure, you'll need to know the song well and follow the chord sheet that's on my website to be able to see the song in its entirety. Just to finish up, let's have a playthrough now, just of that verse and chorus section, and let's demo it first of all with the easy strumming and then demo it with the harder strumming options so that everyone knows how to play this basically. Never meant to cause you E minor sorrow. Two, three, four, D, two. Never meant to cause you a C, any pain. Two, three, two, a G. Only wanted to one time, E minor, see you laughing. D chord. Only want to see you laughing in the purple rain. That's a G. Purple rain, purple rain. Stay on the C. Purple rain, G. Purple rain, E minor. Purple rain, purple rain. Stay on the D chord longer. I only want to see you bathing in the purple rain. And then in the song, you'll be back onto another verse, at which point this repeats. Let's have a go at the extra strumming now, which is on the screen for you. A reminder is down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And that's for one bar. Let's give it a go. If you need to rewind back to this section, chapter times are in the description below and on the screen, so you'll be able to have a couple of goes at this more easily. Let's play it together from the G chord in two, three, four. E minor. D. Never meant to cause you any pain. Two, three, four. G. E minor. Two, three, four. 
for D. I only want to see you laughing in the purple rain. Purple rain, purple rain. Up, up, down, down, up, down, up. G, rain, purple rain. And we mute and then it would happen again. So hopefully that um, shows you how to play that section. With the extra strumming when we're staying on the D chord that bit longer, so it's kind of two and a half bars we're on it. The trick is just to keep your arm strumming on either eighths, all downs, or sixteenths, one e and a two e and a. Just fill in, keep your arm motion going and fill in that extra amount of time. until they get to that G. As soon as it says rain, you know you have to be on that G. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. Um, let's hope the trend of famous celebrities and classic musicians um, passing away in 2016 ends now. We've had enough, thank you very much. And I hope to see you in my next lesson where we're gonna be looking at some single string picking with your, uh, your picking hand. So hope to see you tomorrow for another lesson. Take care of yourselves and bye for now.